Yer, what's happening, my people? It's your boy Smooth. So coming at you with another music review. So this right here is the boy Jim Jones and Harry Fraud, the Fraud Department. So I figured he was gonna be dropping something pretty soon because it looked like he was on the press run. He was on the Joe Button podcast not too long ago, and that's rare for the Joe Button podcast to have a uh, to have a guest. But happy to have Jim back with another project. Uh, back in the days, he probably was my least favorite diplomat member. He's probably my favorite now, man. Like Jim has progressed over the, over the years and stuff, man. And his beat selection and stuff is is superb. Like Jim, Jim has been quietly doing his thing for years and years, man. Like more than just bowling. Like Jim is Jim that dude. So let's get into the project, man. This is eleven songs. 32 minutes runtime. So it starts off with track one, Laps Around the Sun. Soulful sample. He got kind of a herky jerky kind of flow, reminiscing about things he did in his lifetime, making these laps around the sun. Like, laps around the sun, there's like a revolution around, you know, a year and stuff. Like, just his lifetime. Things he's been, been uh, going through. Uh, through my lifetime. Jay Z, Jay Z, they back in the days. Y'all don't know nothing about getting a reasonable gout. But uh, number two. Fucked up featuring Belly. Improvisational kind of flow, like you know, like a jazz musician, like how they just do, 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 like scat and just do. Like to me, that's how the flow is. Like his flow is kind of like kind of all over the place, kind of almost like a freestyle or something. Like just just putting it together. But uh, saying how people got him fucked up, pretty much. Like uh, piss him off, and you gonna see what's up. Like you gonna make the chopper ring and sing and do this and. Fuck your bitch and like just kind of things in that nature, like violent things, like if, if you got him fucked up. But uh, number three, on Viola, featuring Davies and Trav. That nigga spaz on this one, man. Uh, it goes from talking about his aunt, preaching to him, uh, to shopping at sex, to rather buying from boosters instead of sex and stuff, uh, sex fit uh, avenue, uh, to George Floyd, like he, he has a lot of different topics on here, and Dave verse, he talking about like how he was out here making moves in these streets and stuff, but couldn't really uh couldn't really trust too many people around him and stuff. Like he was surrounded by people he didn't trust. Number four, lose lose, mellow, super soulful joint. Love this one right here. I don't necessarily know why it's called lose lose. Like he kind of says it in the hook. Like this is a lose lose, but he also talking about like having a pocket full of money and stuff. Like, so it sounds more like winning on the song than losing. But it's still one of my favorite songs. Probably my favorite joint. Like, I really do like this. But uh, I don't know if the lose lose come in. I'm gonna have to listen to listen to it a few more times a little and, and get the, the exact meaning. Number five, Bada Bing featuring French Montana. Kind of club joint kind of feel right here. Uh, this one varies from the rest of the project. It's probably my least liked joint on here. I like the fact that him and French buried their beef and stuff. Uh, pause. That's pause worthy. But uh, they buried the axe. So they cool again. So that's good. But the track isn't one of the best ones. Like it, it diversifies from the whole project. Number six, Barry White. Dark, soulful joint Talking about the lows And shit that he had to do uh, To want better in life Number 7 Say a prayer featuring currency and Jay Worthy Talking about the world And the hard times that we living in Like they don't want to see his progress In this world They don't want to see his progress man Like the shit that we going through uh, And currency Like he putting on for his people He only run with like thorough, thorough niggas and stuff man Like uh even even cleaning up his crib, he found a uh, hundred racks just cause uh he just that nigga like that. He just he just got it like that. Like uh the the Lord is blessing him for being a real a real brother. So uh, say a prayer. Number eight, the people remix featuring Conway the Machine and Mark Scabilia. Talking to his people about real issues from police brutality, revolutionaries, crooked crooked president. 
uh, Black Lives Matter, COVID, etc. That's what Jim verse is about. Conway, he pick up from that. His verse is kind of like uh, from the perspective of like somebody getting pulled over by the police and like they filming them and stuff and like death is kind of looming over him and is kind of kind of that way. But that's his verse. But another another solid track. Number nine, Luxury Lives featuring Big Body Best. Did a lot of dirt to shine in these streets, man. And many other people had to do these things as well. People had to give up their dreams. They had to sell their whips and had to do this and that. But they had to do what they had to do for them to make it out in these streets. Number 10, Three Cuts featuring Mano. And it has like a Jay-Z sample. Like Jay-Z sample like uh, vocally. But they have another sample, like an old soul sample from back in the days and stuff. But it's just some fly nigga shit. Uh, but Jim and Mayno, they do their thing on here. They is, is another goal. Number 11, Make It Home featuring Kenny Sway. And this one is kind of like a question the direction that we going in in society. Nowadays, uh, niggas, ain't, niggas ain't really built the same. But overall, man, Harry Fraud... He did his thing on here. Like, he needs to, to get his respect and stuff through here. Like, uh, the beats that he gave Jim, very solid track. Very soulful project. Solid track. Solid tracks. In a very soulful project, man. So, I really love this. I like the things that Jim is talking about on here. And just his flows and stuff, stuff like that. The guest appearances were pretty solid. Uh... Overall, I give this like an 8.5 out of 10. Like, I really like gym music. I can see myself like, like listening to this in the whip. Like, just uh, like feeling like I'm a old bar from Painted Fool or something. Just like put me in my, in my dope dealer or swag or something. I ain't no dope dealer or nothing, but uh, just make me feel like that. Like, you want to feel like a dope dealer sometime. But uh, yeah, 8.5 out of 10, man. Definitely tell you to check this one out. Like, comment, subscribe. Gonna be the greatest and most hated man. I let you, boy. Peace out.